Didn't you hear what I said? No, what's up? Just where do you think you want to live when you leave the Army? Well, I need to live somewhere warm. Maybe Texas, but that's a pipe dream unless this appointment goes well. But you think you're going to be medically retired, don't you? I would think so, but I have three kids in college. My youngest is autistic. I'm caring for my aging parents. I have to pay people to do tasks I used to do myself. How am I going to make extra income? I know. The, the hardest part is not knowing. And you know I'm here if you need anything. I know you are. And I really appreciate all the help you've always given me. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, my goodness. It's time for us to get going. All right. Let's do it. Can you take this? Absolutely. Thanks. Ready? Mm -hmm. I think we'll get some good answers today. I hope so. Me too. Good morning. Sarah Milligan? Yes. I'm Keith Miller. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. This is Christy, my non-medical nice attendant. Nice to meet you. Nice She's meeting you. Uh, helped me through my recovery, and she kind of helps me remember well, events that uh, I'm not able to. Terrific. Glad to have you join us. I took the opportunity to review your medical records that you sent to me, mm -hmm. and I've made notes to myself so we can walk through, and I'm going to show you the calculator. The purpose of today, we're going to walk through to use the disability ratings estimator to determine what your benefits would be for military compensation if you're retired from the military. So you say this is an estimate? It's, it's an estimate because the agencies that do the ratings, VA, Social Security, and Department of, the, of Defense, will do the actual ratings. But this calculator is based upon the actual laws and regulations that were written that the VA uses and the military uses for disability ratings. So as long as the information that we put into it is accurate describing the injuries, it should be a pretty good accurate projection of what your entitlements will be. The issues that we're going to be looking at are the military disability pay, the Veterans Administration, Social Security, CRDP, CRSC, all those different entitlements that you could be eligible for if you're medically retired. Okay. Okay. Great. Sound good. Are you ready? Yes. First, we're going to go to My Army Benefits. That's where the disability calculator is located. Why don't we go ahead and log in and we'll start the uh, disability estimate. If you log in. Mm -hmm. The disability calculator actually pulls your personal information up. So it's going to base all these results on your personal information, your service dates, your date of rank, your family situation. The benefits that we're going to look at are going to include all the benefits for your children. Your family benefits are going to be in the final uh, result. Let's move on to the estimator itself. The first question that comes up is whether or not you have a military disability rating now. You haven't been through the MEB yet, have you? Uh, no, I don't have a rating, but I have been through the MEB portion. Okay. I thought that's why we were here today, to get a disability rating. What this is going to do is we're going to put all the injuries into the system, and we're going to find out what that rating is based on those injuries. So this is a step to get us to that point. Okay. okay? So why don't we start by going over your injuries. Okay. Now, this list you see here is the 13 areas that we have it broken okay. into. They're all combat-related uh, injuries. It, it doesn't include things like esophageal reflux or cancer or things like that that aren't combat-related. But these here, uh, and looking over your records, the first one I saw was you were exposed to an a IED blast? Yes, I was. It was on my curbside. You had injury to your shoulder area? Yes, my upper okay. arm. So we're going to look at the category here, and we're going to go to severe injury gunshot wound blast effect. This is a loss of use and function of the muscles of the right shoulder and arm. Your records indicate that you had a soft tissue injury to your arm with latissimus dorsi flap damage. Yes. Okay. So that would be muscle group number three. We're going to select that. And this one talks about the degree of the injury. And as you can see, it talks about a deep penetrating wound due to a high velocity missile, the IED and shattering a bone fracture, compound fracture, those things that happen, that's what's indicated in your record. Under history and complaint, it lists hospitalization for prolonged period of treatment of wound, evidence of loss of power, weakness, lower threshold of fatigue, fatigue and pain. Do you have those symptoms? Yes, uh -huh. sounds just like me. I spent about 10 weeks in the hospital, mm -hmm. inpatient, and uh, fractures, soft tissue loss, that's correct. Okay, well, we'll select severe. Now, the next area we're going to look at, you had 
injury to your lower arm and wrist and hand area also too. Yes. Okay, well let's move on to that. Okay, the next injury we're gonna look at is your right knee. She still has trouble when walking up the stairs on alternating her feet. Okay. Limited to flexing of the knee, approximately 15 degrees. Your records indicate that you had a left side hearing loss and tinnitus. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, the PTSD oh. it compounds my um, memory problems and my ability to work a 40 hour week. Okay, so we'll select combat related for all these injuries then. The hearing, you could probably continue to serve with the hearing loss. All the other conditions that would make you unfit for further service. So we'll select unfit for everything but hearing. And that brings us up to your disability report. Now, as you can see, there's different categories of entitlements that you have. The first one that's listed is your military disability retired pay. And this indicates that the rating on everything that we put in this system, it's estimating that you're going to be rated at 90% for your military disabilities. And that would entitle you to $3,610 of military retired pay. For the Veterans Administration disability, you'd be entitled to $1,910, again, with a 90% rating. Now, the law reads that you can't collect both your full disability, mil military disability pay and your VA. So you have to waiver part of your military disability pay to be able to get your VA, your full VA disability. And that's what this number on the right side shows. So you'd have to waiver all of your disability from the military except for $1,700, but you'd be entitled to $1,910 from the VA. Does that mean that the total amount that she's going to receive back is equal to what her military retired pay would have been? It will be equal to or exceed it because she's wavered that portion of the military retired pay. So it's the remainder plus the VA is going to add up to a figure that's higher than what the actual VA disability and the military disability separately would be. Okay. Okay. So this also shows and it addresses whether you're entitled to CRSC and this shows that you won't receive any CRSC directly and that's a, a product of the time and service, your retirement, the disability rating. There's a very complicated formula that takes place that computes that out but one amount was higher than the other, so it ends up with a zero for CRSC. Now, when you turn 60, CRDP isn't showing up on here yet, but when you turn 60 and you're eligible for your reserve retired pay, then you're also eligible for CRDP, the concurrent retired disability pay, and that's where, because you're losing some of your military disability because of the VA benefit, they're augmenting or supplementing that retired pay at age 60 and replacing some of that lost money that you had. So at age 60, you'll have a, another income that is added into that. Do you have any questions on, the, on what we covered? Uh, no, I don't. Christy? No, feel good. Well, let me go make a copy for you, and you can take that with you then, okay? Wow, what do you think? <sighs> Very informative, and I'm glad I did this. Me too, me too. I owe you so much. Oh, don't think a thing of it, but I can be paid in ice cream. <laughs>